You should have seen the look on your face. What look? The look when I said relationship. I meant your professional relationship, knucklehead. Of course, that's a, that's exactly what I was thinking too, Chief. Come on. Listen, um, looks like you two are getting along much better these days. Yeah, well, we work things out. Good to know. Back when you were partners, you were constantly at each other's throats, and I'm glad to hear that that is fixed. <laughs> yes, sir, it is. Yeah. And when you make detective, we'll be back to being equals, huh? You think Natalia will be able to deal with it? Did I mention how competitive she can be? You know, I'll take my chances. Natalia has earned my respect, but I think it's time for me to earn hers. You know how much I care about you. Natalia, I want you to have a wonderful life. But do you think I could ever have a relationship? Well, all I ask is if you ever have. Dr. Brantley, 274. To be honest, I don't even know. Then if you don't know, it means you haven't. Well, I've been too busy with my career. And before you came here? My mother was my first priority. Even before she got sick? When Dad left, she... She was devastated. I'm not saying that I blame him or you. I just... I mean... When he left, I mean, that's when she got sick. Really sick. Well, are you thinking that the stress of a broken heart escalated her illness? I don't know. It seemed that way. Well, let me ask you how this seems. Maybe you're just afraid to give your heart to someone. Thank you for saving me from my mother. You did kind of slam her. She just brings out the worst in me. You know, all Liza wanted was for you to open up a little about what's going on in your life. It doesn't seem like so much. Are you defending her? No, I, no, I, well, I mean, she's my boss. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I don't want to tell your boss how messed up my life is right now. Should your boyfriend take that person? No. You're great. You're the best. You're perfect. It's just, uh... JR and Annie, they did it again. Did it? Yeah. Hmm. I know. I know. And Marissa and JR, they're, like, getting a divorce, and they're fighting over AJ. It's a disaster area. There are seriously bombs going up every five minutes. It sucks. Is there anything I can do? You can, like, ship Annie to Brazil. That'd be really nice. For you, I would try. <laughs> My uncle trusted you. Yeah. Called you his friend. And you robbed him. Yeah. <clears throat> he was my friend, Caleb. I regret what I did. You regret it? After you made millions off of his property so that you could buy Cortland out from under me. It started as one lie, and before Stop I knew Stop talking! It's too late, Junior. It's already out. And you don't get a pass for being sorry. You're no better than your weasel cousin. You have no right to talking to him like that. Feigning shock and disgust when your cousin grabbed Cortland. Shame on you. I didn't steal anything. Really? Your hands are clean. Think about what you're doing, Scott. We may have our issues, but when outsiders attack, we band together. Well, it doesn't sound like the Chandlers I've been observing. All right, that's fine. Scott can just admit to whatever he wants. I had nothing to do with this. Oh, so you didn't know anything about this? That's right. Uncle Palmer didn't choose to share with me, Caleb. When Scott came in here to confess, he knew exactly what he was confessing. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Oh, I will. And after I do, there's not a judge in this world who will grant you custody of your son. You son of a bitch. Yeah, you come in here, you stop take it, my boy, son down. FBI. Well, who invited them? Oh, I did. That must seem pretty messed up to you, huh? <laughs> no. 
I'm ready to face a perk with a loaded gun for the guy with flowers. No, you have to let go of the idea that giving your heart to someone will get in the way of your career. Well, that's easy for you to say. Easy? For Jesse? <laughs> All right, I'll take that back. You know what? It, it is never completely easy, honey. But you know what? If you keep yourself, your heart, Dr. locked Ponce. up, you will be missing out on one of the greatest gifts that the Dr. universe has ever given us. Being loved and being able to love back. And for that to happen, when the right one comes along, you are going to have to throw that lock away and open yourself up. And I can't promise that it won't hurt, but I can promise that the prize is worth it. So, I'm just supposed to enter a potential shootout with no vest, no weapon. You're plenty armed already. You're gorgeous. You're dedicated. <laughs> you're, you're funny. You're loyal. Shall I go on? I mean, you know, the, the right one, he better watch out. The right one. The right one. How do I know? No, you never will unless you take that first step. Come on, Natalia, take a chance. Wow, you weren't kidding. So this is a list of everybody in Pine Valley who has a motive to kill David. Well, I guess I'm in good company. You should probably subpoena yourself. I mean, you did have issues with David. You know what I'd really like to do? I'd like to put you on that witness stand so you could explain to the court how you helped Hayward blackmail Greenlee. Well, that would be difficult to prove since Kendall destroyed all the evidence. Oh, but it did exist, didn't it? And you know that because you kept it safe, and now you're furthering his crime by trying to pin his murder on Greenlee. Jack, this isn't personal. It is for me, Eliza. Which is why I think your daughter would be better off with a different attorney. Excuse me, we gotta go get those records. You're not gonna make your career on the back of my daughter. Jack, you keep acting as if I made up these charges like they're not real. A friend was murdered, and I'm the only one who wants justice. Your friend almost killed Erica, and where's the evidence of that? Oh, that's right. Swept under the rug with the rest of the dirt, so you can protect Hayward. Listen, uh, Jackson, why don't, why don't we just go? And I'll find, I'll look under every rock until I do. Well, good luck with that. Uh, you are aware that the trial starts tomorrow. You bet I am. And after I win, Liza, I'm going after your job. Thanks for coming, gentlemen. Scott, what are you doing? The right thing. Finally. Sorry you guys had to come down here. This is a family misunderstanding. We were told that a corporate crime was committed. Intellectual theft. No, there was no theft. My cousin has a grudge and he's using your department to settle it. Scott, please don't do this. I'm getting our lawyers on the phone. And unless you guys have a warrant. Well, they don't need a warrant because I invited them in and I'm prepared to confess. You are so weak. I was. I was, but I took in the park and I ran into an old friend who helped me find the strength. Oh, in the park, an old friend. What are you out of your mind? I'm ready now. What, where are you going? Well, it's a police headquarters to make my confession Scott, official. Please, please, just think about what, what you still have here, what we could still have. I have thought about it a lot. I'm ready, boys. Well, I'm coming with you. You and I are just getting started. Get out of my way. You think your cousin should take the fall for you after what you've done to him and his wife? Whatever Scott tells the cops, I'm not going down for it, and neither will the company. And by the way, you can't use this in the custody case, because Scott's the one who admitted to it, not me. At least he's got the guts to own up to it. You have no idea what's in me, but I will show you when I throw that custody order back in your face. Well, judge already signed off on it. Make it a permanent... Just a formality. Oh, well, don't count on it. See, Marissa still cares about me. You haven't turned her to your side for good. 
You know, Junior, before I was just thinking about getting Cortland back. But now I'm thinking about maybe something a little more. And now that the Chandler Empire is crumbling. <laughs> Chandlers don't crumble. If you had a drop of Cooney blood in your veins, you wouldn't have gone along with robbing your uncle's grave. Whatever Scott robbed, we own. Because we own Cortland Electronics. Nanotech would have made Pete's company millions. And now you're gonna owe me millions. Or maybe I'll just take controlling interest in your daddy's company. Scott's the one you need to go after. I'll keep my options open. Just don't leave town. Pine Valley's my home. I won't leave. Thought you'd be working through lunch. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I was gonna get you a burger. Uh, this is this is cool. Thank you. Good. Um. Well, I've been uh, thinking about some things, and uh, I've also been thinking about how I sometimes act around you. I've been thinking about that too. You have? Yeah. Like what? Oh, you first. I asked you. Say about that. Detective Fowler. Yes, sir. Hey, babe. What you got? Baby book. A baby book in Braille, huh? Yeah, it takes me about a day to read a page, but I'll get there. I know you will. I'm so proud of you. Well, it was time. You know, we're going into our 18th week. I might feel the baby kick soon. I love you more and more each day. Well, that's good. Because I'm getting bigger and bigger each day. Sexier by the day. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ready to go eat? Uh-huh. I'm gonna take you someplace special. Oh, where? Home. Oh, cheap date. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Frankie always said Scott was a stand-up guy. The stand-up guy still inventions worth millions? I mean, he did lawyer up. But according to the feds, it sounded like he didn't even want one. You know what? We should call Jesse. No, no. We can handle this. Oh, wait. You mean you can handle this? No. I meant we. Why do you always have to say that and do that all the do time? Do what? Question your decision? Yeah. I'm not trying to snag some big case again for myself. Okay, my dad specifically asked for some alone time with Angie. That's all. How's she doing? She's good. He's good. They just need some downtime. Now more than ever. That's nice of you. Well, I can be nice. Wanna share? I like that. I need to see Scott. Where is he? Uh, the interrogation room. Can I, can I please have a moment with my husband? We'll be right outside. Uh, go home, Annie. Why are you doing this? I said... Is it go. to get back at me? Is that why you're throwing your life away? <laughs> 